Thank you very much for joining us. Stormwatch 9 weather on the web. An 8 o'clock update on Hurricane Milton for all those interests down in Florida. You can see the storm barreling in towards the Sunshine State landfall coming up shortly between 8 and 11 o'clock. Another update, by the way, here on the web at 11 o'clock with that new update coming in from the National Hurricane Center. Here's the track. Just like it's been all afternoon and early evening south of the track from yesterday. That means the strong and high storm surge still an impact uh, in Tampa, in Tampa Bay. But the highest storm surge near or just south of the center of where the track is. Notice during the overnight, the winds will begin to shut down. Not completely, they diminish, you should say. And then by tomorrow, the storm well offshore to the east of Florida. So we'll talk about the storm surge that has shifted a little bit to the south and dropped a little bit in some of the highest spots. But 9 to 13 feet devastating storm surge from Sarasota down to about Fort Myers and then Fort Myers down to about Naples 8 to 12 feet. So still major flooding here in the western part of Florida. And even though that storm surge has come down in and around Tampa in Tampa Bay, still some major flooding in that part of the Sunshine State. Now we'll focus in on the wind. Tough to call exactly which hour of the day or night rather and which spot we'll see the winds of exactly a certain speed. But this computer model gives you a rough idea of hurricane winds or higher. So 70 plus all the way through tomorrow morning. So keep in mind, hurricane force winds start at 74 miles per hour. We'll see that gust between 74 and probably 100 or 105 in the western part of Florida. Then either strong tropical storm force winds or minimal hurricane winds pre-dawn hours into early, early on Thursday morning. And then, of course, as the storm pulls away, the winds are going to weaken out of the west in the northwest still breezy but of course nothing compared to what they're dealing with in the coming hours in terms of the rainfall dramatic intense rain bands this afternoon in advance of milton associated with numerous tornadoes going forward from now through tomorrow morning and early afternoon an additional six to ten inches of rain from tampa st pete all the way up to Orlando in just north of the Cape Canaveral area in south of Jacksonville, three to six a little bit farther to the north and lower amounts far north and far to the south. So again, that's through the eight o'clock advisory here on a Wednesday night. We'll have another update coming up at 11 o'clock to carry you through the overnight period. If you have friends and family down in Florida, hopefully they are in a safe spot and can ride this storm out in that safe fashion. And again, by tomorrow afternoon and evening, dramatic improvement begins to move in to our south in Florida.